Diggison still working with it as he's on the blue line. This one, a chance for a one-on-one. -on -one. Zach Carr coming the other way, takes a shot. Weak shot right there, easy save. Just tries to shoot that one towards the net. Kane falls on top of it. Opportunity for Carr, kind of blew it. Getting this one through, trying to hack that one away to flex off of the twine behind the net. One-timer and they score! Right place at the right time for Augustine. Triangle around the net and a power play goal for the Flying Dutchman puts them up 1-0 with 10.04 remaining here in the first period. Dalton Sutherland under center trying to get that same offensive pressure going once again, but the faceoff is won and controlled by the Flying Dutchman. Opportunity for a breakaway here in front of the net. Gormley takes a shot. Glove save right there from Riley Morgan. Shuts the door. Ryan Tyre trying to surround his man and try and work to get on top of that puck as it's sent forward, but recovered at the blue line by the Chippewas, and they score! I believe that one to be redirected in front by Ryan Tyre. Chippewas tied up in the most unlikely of ways at the three minute mark of the second period. Now having it still back behind that net. Sending it back out of the blue line to Diggison. Try to redirect this one through and they do and they score. 14-38 left here in the second period. Opportunistic goal scored right there by the Flying Dutchman. Well, no redirect from the Chippewas, but a redirect goal for Hope. Five-hole save made right there by Austin Kane. Hope coming the other way with it now on the stick of Jake Faustin. Faustin sends this one towards the net as he's finished off. And they score! Don't even know, that one found its way through. A goal scored right there from Noah Arendt. Three to one lead for the Flying Dutchman in the most improbable way. And they've played four games and now they're continuing that as a redirect opportunity in front of the net. Sputters away, kick save made right there from Austin Kane. Coming up with it is Dylan Billings trying to send this one through. Bouncy puck opportunity, they score! Chase Wallace finds the puck on the ice and puts it in the net. This crazy flurry scoring game continues as Wallace gets his second of the season. Hopper, first time we've called his name tonight, makes a move right there, shoots this one. Easy save right there for Riley Morgan. Now sent down, Nate Grizzell gets this one off of a bad bounce. Opportunity, trying to work in front of the net. Opportunity, takes the shot, deflected away. What an opportunity right there. Said it before, I'll say it again. Nate Grizzell had a great chance. Working on the near side boards is Elliot Diggison. Stops at the left circle and just tries to send that one down onto the stick of Noah Arendt. Now an opportunity, Nick Wink coming in with speed. All alone in front of the net, takes the shot. Glove save, what a save right there. Oh my goodness, call the cops an absolute robbery. Wallace and Sutland trying to work their way through. Back down to Sutland, leaves it back there for Wallace. Gets this one through to Nakersell, takes a shot, kick save, and what a beauty right there. That's gonna be the finest save of the night from Austin Kane. That was the equalizer on the stick. Getting this face off would be huge, and the Chippewas do win this one. Cal Jesco working with it, being all but pressured as you can anticipate. Opportunity in front of the net for Evan Augustine, takes a shot, and he scores! Augustine with the clincher, the home crowd goes crazy. 26 seconds remaining in this game. Hope is gonna get their revenge for the regional finals loss. Intercepted there by Aaron, and it looks like that is going to do it here. Four seconds, one last rush for the Flying Dutchman. That's your game, a 4-2 victory for Hope here in front of their home fans. Revenge for that ACHA fin regional finals loss. Standing ovation now from their hometown faithful. Chips will have to recollect themselves, get their emotions straight, try and get the win tomorrow night in their home opener against these Flying Dutchmen in front of a rowdy, loud, and exciting ice arena crowd back in Mount Pleasant.